Hi guys, today today we have a review of the Let's Go Code activity set. It, it's from the company Learning, Learning Resources and it it is for ages it's it, it's recommended for ages 5 and up and and actually our our friend from our a friend fr of our family gave this to us. He's actually a really cool programmer too. He uses he uses the programming language C plus plus. And this game actually this game actually says it helps pro it helps uh, kids code. So let's open it up. Oh, this is kind of hard to open up. Oh, there finally. So here we have the different colored uh, steps. I don't know these like tool, these like setting buttons. I don't know what they mean. Here's the instruction. Here are some more cards, and here are some, and here are some more cards again. Let's read the instructions. So here's what it includes: 20 double-sided coding cards, 20 size mat, 20 maze mats, two robots, two gears, two springs, two star arrows, two X's. Let's see. So let's just read this part first. Play options. Pair up two children. One children builds and moves through the maze. The second child places the correct sequence of coding cards and directs the child first step by step. For beginning builders, assign a number of mats to build with. Start with a small number like five or six. The child can build a maze in almost any configuration as long as the path has a ding distinct. Start, arrow, and the end robot. No, see sample mazes on the back for building areas. Okay. Okay, let's first open up all of these. These scissors. This is like impossible to open. Alright. So here are the cards for making the code. So I'm I'm gonna be the one who makes the code, which means my sister Ivanka, she will build the maze with these cards and with these arrows. So she's gonna build the maze, and when she's finished, she's gonna be she's gonna start at the at the first block, and she's gonna try to get the robot, which is this one or or that one so uh, so i'm i'm supposed to tell you the code with all of these different uh blocks so let's get started Build the co build the code, and my sister Ivanka will have to as a robot. She will have to she will have to read the code, and she'll have to follow it. I want to tell you something really important. These two commands. These are two arrows, but this one means move. This one means move backwards. This one means move forwards. If you flip this like uh, maybe over here or like down or or sideways or or to the other side, it will still mean the same thing. If if there's a robot, it, it is facing maybe in this direction. 
and you have your arrow over here, he won't go over here. He will just go over. He'll he'll go forward because because these arrows mean it mean the same thing. But but with this arrow, if we used it for a robot, he would go backward though. So we or so wait. Would he? Oh. Oops, I had it and I had I had the wrong things. So this one means backwards. This one means forwards. Okay, let's write a command for my sister. That has to reach the robot. Okay, let's start from down here, because there's not really any more space. Next, we have to do a flip. So, let's go and do this. What is this going to do? This. Uh, no, you have to, because it's right going to... Yeah, because right? it's going to... Yeah, 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 because it, I'm going to turn around like this way. We ran out of blocks. So I I think we're basically just done. We just had two steps. But anyway, in later and kind of harder mazes, we can use these things. The this means no no crossing this block except for and you see this block, it's a jetpack. So only with a jetpack you can cross this because because this uh, that's the only way you can cross cross this. And also in later things, we will we will do. You could have these. These are parts for the robot. So here we have like here we have hands that will that will pick the pick the parts for the robot up, and then you have to give the robot the parts. Does this help learn programming? Well. It it just helps learn like it just helps learn like for new uh, noobs uh, in programming. It it helps them it helps them understand that programming is just very simple commands for for something. Actually, I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't waste money for this game because you could actually make one by yourself at home. See, like just you could do. Uh, squares with these signs, or, or maybe just blank squares, and then, and then you would have these little squares with arrows. Okay, Ivanka, did this help you learn programming? Not really, because I already know programming. Okay, so like, may, so like, you you liked it, but but it didn't really help you because you already know programming. Yes. But it was fun, right? Yeah, I liked it too. Bye, see you later. Bye, see you later.